Hey everybody, welcome back to Read to Me, Miss Tracy. I'm your host that's going to bring books to life for you. Miss Tracy, mm -hmm, that's me. I came back with some more books to, so that you can read along with me. I've been to the library and I've got a brand new book. Um, oh, and look, I've got my Ready Readers t-shirt on. Woo! And the book that we're going to read, I got from Ready Readers, Walter's Wonderful Web. That's kind of hard to say, www like that. Walter's Wonderful Web. Walter's Wonderful Web. Walter's Wonderful Web. <laughs> this book is by Tim Hope Hopgood. Hope I said that right. I hope I did that good. <laughs> and this book is a wonderful book. It's kind of about shapes. Ready to read it? I am. Let's get started. Walter's Wonderful Web by Tim Hopgood. Walter wished he could spin a perfect web, just like his friends. But Walter's web, webs weren't very perfect. They were wibbly and wobbly. Look at his web. Can you see it? Like those, his friends got perfect webs. They have perfect webs, right? But then here's Walter's. Well, maybe you'll get it. Let's read and find out. Well, he's looking. And when the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. But Walter was determined, so one morning he decided to start with something simple. Oh. Very carefully, he made a small web in the shape of a, let's see what shape he's going to make, a triangle. There's the three sides, one, two, three. Hmm, that's a different shape for a web, a spider web. Whoosh, went the wind, and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time, he made a bigger web in the shape of a... I wonder what he's going to make this shape look like. A square. There it is. This shape has four sides. Count them. One, two, three, four. Four sides makes a square shape. Whoosh! Went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed <sighs> and started again. This time he made a longer web in the shape of a <gasps> rectangle. Well, a rectangle has four sides too. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. But what? there's two sides that are short. One, two short sides, and then two long sides. One long side, two long sides. That's what makes a rectangle. Whoosh! Went the wind and blew the web away. Walter sighed. Then he stretched his legs and made a taller, if a taller web in the shape of a. Hmm. Wonder what shape this is gonna be. A diamond. Another four side shape, just turned a little bit different, kind of like a square. Let's count the sides. One, two three, four. Very good counting. That's what a diamond looks like. Whoosh! Whoosh! Went the wind and it blew that web away too. Oh man, Walter. Perhaps my web should be more round, thought Walter. Hmm. So... So he climbed up that way, and then he climbed down that way, and 
and he twisted uh, 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 and twirled. Would this be Walter's first perfect web? He's not giving up. That's a good thing. He's not giving up. Merely, it wasn't a perfect web, but it was all an almost perfect circle, and it looked really strong. Yes, that's definitely a circle. Good job, Walter. Very different kind of web, wouldn't you say? But it's a nice circle. Whoosh! 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 went the wind. Oh, look at poor Walter. He hit the ground with a bump. Wow, a bump and a thump went to Walter. Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up, but as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. He did make some great shapes, the square, the triangle, the rectangle, the circle, and the diamond. Hmm. All at once, he knew just what he had to do. Ding! He had an idea. So he took a deep breath. <gasps> Like that. Look, he's even got a little bead of sweat on his face. Whoosh! Went the wind. But it did it. It didn't stop Walter or his web. Not this time. And as the stars came out, are even out. He's been working all day and all night on this. <gasps> Look what Walter made. You can see the diamonds. You can see you can see the diamonds and the, the diamonds and the triangles, the circles. Oh look at the circles, the circles, the diamonds and oh diamonds and squares and rectangles. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Good job, Walter. Walter's web shone in the moonlight. It was better than perfect. It was truly a wonderful web. I agree. Don't you think so? These are the shapes. These are these shapes are all shown in this book. We talked about what's this one? Two long sides, one, sh two short sides, two long sides, rectangle, right? Then we have the triangle. Tri means three, so there's three sides. One, two, three. And the circle, like a wheel or a stop sign almost. I mean, more like a wheel or a bubble. Yeah, a bubble. And it doesn't really have sides. It's just all one, one continuous shape. And then we've got four sides on the diamond. And then one, two, three, four sides on the square. Good deal. I like that book. If your teachers are studying, if you're studying and learning your shapes, this is a great way. And guess what? Walter never gave up and he made a wonderful web. Not like anybody else's. It didn't look like all his friends, but it was still a sturdy web, and he did not give up trying. He used each and everything that he learned along the way, making the mistakes, and he kept going, just like Miss Tracy. <laughs> you can get this book at your library or matkids.com. says it right here on the back of the book. There it is, <laughs> by Tim Hopgood. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I love bringing books to, to life. And I thought about another little closing story. And it goes like this. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. 
See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. See you next time. Don't forget to like the video. Read to me, Miss Tracy.